There they all are. That is the collection. Got the Red Cat MT10E converted to an E5HX. Techno EB48.3 converted to a small MT. Techno MT410. Arma Sentin. Arma Italian. Hobby King Berserker. So I almost forgot my boat. This is the Pro Boat Recoil 26. And it's self writing, which makes it amazing. Uh, I take this out to, uh, there's a river I go to, and there's a lot of chop, and this thing, it barrel rolls, and if it ends up on its, uh, on the lid, you can uh, blip the throttle, reverse, and then forward, and it self-writes. It's just an amazing boat. Um, I've had a lot of fun with it. It's all stock. Um, I don't know much about boats, so I'm going to keep it stock. <clears throat> But it's got all waterproof receiver, servo, it's got this um, outboard, not outboard, but a, uh, instead of an inrunner, an outrunner motor, which is way different and that's kind of how it helps self, the self-writing from what I understand. <clears throat> and uh, there's a marine ESC in there, I think it's only like a 60 amp ESC, it just uses these little EC3 connectors, I run it on 3S. It's just a ton of fun. So I almost forgot that one. <laughs> okay, we'll start with this one. This is the Red Cat TRMT 8E or TRMT 10E. I always mix those two up. Um, but anyway, I converted it to the HX version. Um, those trucks are basically the same the Red Cat version or the Team Magic version. So this body, I really like how this body looks. It looks like a mini um, of the 8th scale version, the E5HX or the TRMT 8E or the BE6S. So many different names for those trucks. Uh, but this one I outfit, I got as a roller, which I've been liking to do lately, and I outfitted it with Max 10 SCT, which is the 150 amp version. The Hobby Wing 3660 motor, uh, sensorless. This is a JX steering servo. It's uh, 18 kilogram. I was hoping it would work great in a one of my 1 8 scales, but it didn't really work out. Uh, it works really good in this truck. Um, I recently put the 2.8 Proline trenchers on here. So uh, these are 17 millimeter, so I did the 17 millimeter hubs. Uh, so this truck is a lot of fun. I've had a lot of trouble with it though on 3S when I had the just spur. There's a steel spur in the center. I put an actual differential in there and I haven't run it, but I'm hoping that I won't have any other issues. Um, so for 10th scale, this is my only 10th scale. And uh, I just really like how it looks, so that's why I'm not giving up on it. So. That's this one. Next up is the Hobby King Berserker. I've covered this quite a bit on this channel. So I'll just quick overview. You've got uh, Louise Pirate tires. This is a J Concepts finisher body. I've had that question quite a bit. Uh, inside I have a Quick Run 150. This is my old Arma um, V1 Arma Italian motor. Uh, and this is actually a Protec 170. SBL servo, which is a beast, um, all kinds of upgrades. Um, that's an aluminum upgrade that isn't stock. The hubs are an aluminum upgrade that isn't stock. It's off this uh, HSP Seawolf or something. It's like a nitro truck. That's what this chassis is. And I have the a custom uh, T-bone rear bumper. So other than that, I haven't ran it since I put the new electronics in it. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be fine. I'm assuming on 4S it'll be slow because I have, there's a bigger spur. I think that's only a 13 tooth pinion, uh, but I can ramp it up to five or six S. So the plan is to just bash this one. In the spring, I'll be taking it uh, into the backyard and going off of jumps with it. Okay, next up, this is the Arma Sentin, and I love how this thing looks. This is a Proline Flotec body with Duratrax six-packs tires with the chrome. And I think this thing is super sharp. 
I've been beating on this truck and uh, I have a couple videos of it. One where I did a bunch of jumps in my backyard and it really jacked up this body, which is a shame. Uh, I did put a bunch of Gorilla Tape on it to kind of try to save it for a few more bashes. Uh, but uh, it this truck takes a beating. Um, I outfitted it pretty nice too. Um, this is a EVO P2 servo, uh, which is really fast. I think it's only like 17 or 18 kilograms of torque, but it's really fast. It turns these no problem at all. Um, I got a, uh, a Hobby Wing um, 150 amp. This is the censored version. Um, it's the XR8 and then the 2200 or 2250, I can't remember which KV censored motor to go with it. Uh, and it's, I mean, I just run it on 4S and it's fantastic. It's smooth, tons of power. And I mean, this roll cage, these bars on the side, this bumper, this rear bumper, this thing takes so much abuse. Uh, it just amazes me. The only thing I broke on it is these body mounts. So I stocked up on body mounts. And if that's the only thing I break, then I think that's pretty dang good. So good job on Arma for this one. It's uh, one heck of a bash vehicle. Next up is my Arm Italian, and uh, there's a special place in my heart for this RC. This is a V1. I got it over a year and a half ago, and it really kick-started the addiction uh, into RC in general. I just love this thing. Um, I got this Desert Militia body. This is the first body I painted. I kept it simple, and it is still going strong today. There's hardly, I mean, the top gets some scratches, but I mean, it's still going strong. I, I, I need to find another one of these for when this finally goes. Uh, right now I got my winner set up in it. You guys saw me run this one uh, last time. This is the Arma BLX 200, I think is what the designation is. It's the rebranded Max 8. Uh, Savox 1270 TG servo. It's a very good servo. It's, uh, I think it's water resistant. I know it's got some seals. They don't call it waterproof, but I had it in the snow and it was just fine. And then this is a, uh, a Tekken Truggy motor that, uh, shout out to Steven Gonzalez. Um, he um, sold this to me. I originally had it in the Berserker. It really wasn't working out in there. It's 1700 KV. So I threw it in here, ran it in the winter. Um, I think the motor is kind of going out, uh, it got a little, when I was spinning it by hand, it sounded a little crunchy, which isn't good. So that's why I'm running it in the snow. Um, when, uh, spring comes around again, I'll put the, there's an orange can ghoul RC motor I have for it, which is a beast. I have a video of this thing going 61 miles an hour, different tires. Of course, this is what I was running in the winter. Still haven't got paddle tires. I do want to get those, but for now, I'll just run these uh, Big Joes because they're the best I got. Um, I think I'm going to actually take it out soon here, uh, do a couple jumps in the snow, nothing too crazy, but just to do something to get out in the winter. So uh, I got tons of upgrades on this. GKA servo mount, GKA chassis braces, GKA rear hinge pin mounts that I haven't even put on yet. And on the bottom, I got the Voltage Hobbies skid plates. And this is still the original chassis. I don't run on dirt. I just run around the backyard in the neighborhood. So I barely scratch these things up as it is. But uh, this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite RC, just because it really got me into the hobby. Now we come to my Techno EB48.3. This started out as a buggy. I recently converted it to a small MT um, and that was pretty fun to do. I had this body laying around. I was actually going to use it um, on the Red Cat truck as a second option, but it was too big for the Red Cat and it's technically too small for this, but it kind of works if you leave the wing on. So. Not much uh, other as far as the electronics has changed in here. I'm still running the same budget system. This is a, um, uh, what is this? It's a 20 kilogram power HD servo. They're really cheap. It works, it's slow, but it's got 
it's got torque, enough torque to turn the tires, especially when it was a buggy. We'll see how it does with these. I might upgrade it, I might not. This is my original um, V1 uh, BLX 185. Um, it's again, it's a rebranded hobby ring, quick, one, quick, quick run 150. This is my, um, I got this from Tower Hobbies. I'm trying to think of the, uh, the, the brand of it, but this Tower Hobby sells this 1 8 scale uh, 4074 motor. It's 2150 KV uh, RC Gear Shop, that's what it's called. Um, so I'm running that in there and it, it has worked since the day I put it in here. It has been a dream um, in this techno setup. This was my first kit and it really got me into building kits. Um, you'll see the MT410 next and I also have a S-Works Zeus that I'm building right now. So this RC is really what kicked me into these kits. And putting, in, putting an RC together I think is really rewarding. I mean, you know everything about it, and you can choose whatever electronics you want. You can make it really expensive. You can make it budget, and they just work great. And uh, so anyway, more on this conversion. This is the MT410 bumper that I had left over. The mounts are SET410. I had to chop them up pretty good to get them to fit on here. Um, and then I put an extra screw, so hopefully these, when I start taking landings on the roof, hopefully they don't move around too much and break. Um, I am going to try to run this soon, just kind of in the street, because it's still winter, so I don't want to take it through snow and all that stuff, but I do want to do a quick run of it on the street, just to kind of see how it's performing with this new setup. And last but not least is the Techno MT410. Um, I have these tires on here right now. Uh, they were on my Arma. They're the Phazon tires. I probably won't run it a lot like this, um, but they were, I had the big Joes on here, but I swapped them uh, onto the Arma. Um, so first thing we can see is I'm running this really thick, a lot of people don't like it heavy they'll say it's too heavy body it's the ultimate rc body uh, and it is very very tough i have run this a lot and the only thing it's done is some a few scuffs right here uh, it's a special molded type of body um, i don't know all the ins and outs of it but there's a facebook group ultimate rc bodies if you guys want to get one of these that's where you need to go. Talk to Jason Gibson. They are heavy, but they are very, very tough. Tougher than any Lexan body I have ever used. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. <laughs> I have T-bone front bumper, T-bone rear bumper, electronics. This is the Bluebird BLS42A, which is a badass servo. It's got tons of torque. It's super fast. Hobbywing XR8 with a wild turbo fan on here. This is a Hobby Star censored motor. It's a 1700 kV. I've got this extreme racing um, uh, carbon fiber top plate, and then there's some standoffs so that you can put the fan over top. Uh, I've only ran it a few times. Uh, some guys on the techno group have trouble with it hitting the motor on big jumps. Um, for me, I think I'll be fine. I don't do any crazy, crazy jumps. So I think for me, it'll be good. Um, it's a little extra cooling, uh, because with the 44 tooth spur, um, and this is a 20 tooth, I run it on 6S. It does get hot. It doesn't get crazy. Uh, the last time I ran it, it was only like 138, um, degrees. So that wasn't bad at all but I haven't run it in the middle of the summer when it's 90, 100 degrees outside. Um, so I wanted to put the fan on there for a little extra cooling. And I think it looks cool. Um, let's see, what else did I do to this thing? Oh, I've got the Fierce RC, the Fierce Solutions chassis protector, which there's barely a scratch on this thing, and that's awesome. <laughs> Again, I'm not running on gravel. I'm sure if you're running on gravel, it's going to tear it up more. I put the mud guards on here, um, and as soon as M2C Racing releases the 
aluminum diff cups, I'll get a center aluminum diff cup because I have melted a diff cup uh, in the in the EB48.3 um, because these these techno diffs are a little on the small side, so they don't hold as much fluid, and if you're really tough on them, and you, let's say you haven't changed your fluid in a while, which I'm guilty of, you can really heat that thing up. The inside of it is just plastic where it holds your cross pins in, and it'll just literally melt, and your whole inside of your diff, your cross pins and everything will twist, dig into that plastic, and then you got a plastic, and you gotta throw the whole thing away. So that's the only, flaw that I could say in this techno is that if you get crazy and you don't take care of it that your diff cup will melt. That's obviously a user issue. <laughs> Everything else on this truck is just incredible. The shocks are incredible, the durability is incredible, the suspension is just butter smooth. I can't say enough about the MT410 I like how it handles. I like wheelies. Some guys like the extended version because they don't want to have all the wheelies. I love it. I've got other RCs that'll fill that need. This one is my crazy machine, wheelie machine. Have a good time. Go out on success. Do standing backflips. I'm just in love with this truck. Spent a ton of money on it, <laughs> but I can say it's worth it because it performs the way I want. So that's, uh, that's it for the collection. The only other thing that uh, I'll be doing, I'll be doing some updates on the Zeus pretty soon. I've gotten a little ways into it. Um, so that's, uh, that's everything, guys.